Welcome on here, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, as you see by the title and by the main screen, is going to be Juggernaut from Marvel, from Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat. The Shao Kahn that we're using, we are using the old timeline Shao Kahn, but not when he gets Armageddon slash the power of Blaze, and it's all piled up together with his strength, you know, reciprocated into where he's debatably void the strongest and is intercepted with a bunch of different abilities that are way too high C for Juggernaut. Is mainly his normal type of form and base notes. And how it's coupled together nicely with game mechanics and everything that's been shown in comics. Did a lot of research for this. And with Juggernaut, he's going to be from Marvel, obviously, because that's where he's from. I know that this picture that I'm using is from, kind of in a way, from the Deadpool 2 movie, which I'm not shown, but it's a pretty cool movie to me. But we're actually just using the Marvel version. This is, looks cool to me. I want to use it. And I think if they were going to make a full suit for Juggernaut, they shouldn't have used that. But it is what it is, you know. But I already discussed a little bit about Shao Kahn in this. But I want to discuss Juggernaut first, then discuss a little bit more of the stuff about Shao Kahn and this. Uh, there's a few things you might want to know, but it's not that much. I'm going to talk about that first and talk about Juggernaut. So Shao Kahn and this is actually a god that was meant to protect our world, and he did that for a pretty long time, but then, out of power, lust, and greed, he decided to kill his master, King of Outward Onaga, and take the throne for himself and punish his army of undead warriors, and he started conquering multiple different realms and lands of Outworld to become a top, you know, as a tyrant, ruler, a brawler that never gave up on his entire power, lustful journey, and it was the game of conquest, pretty much. Shao Kahn intercepted a bunch of different warriors and is one of the strongest Mortal Kombat characters in the entire franchise. But at the same time, in this type of timeline of the era, he is definitely one of the top strongest. He's intercepting multiple different realms, like I said before, and being so powerful that most other warriors would just tremble in fear to serve him. His powers can be punished from soul magic, as he's a great master sorceress. I'm sorcerer, and I mean sorceress. And I love how I said sorceress, because I know that he's obviously a guy, but I love how somebody pans him together with a female that is non binary, so it's transgender, and it coupled together with his armor. So his design, he kind of looks like a male stripper a little bit. <laughs> I love how I said that. Hey, ain't nothing against people like that. I'm just joking around, you feel me? That's pretty much it for Shao Kahn, the great ruler of Outworld. Conqueror of a bunch of different worlds and a Goliath power. Next, we have the Juggernaut. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. Juggernaut, aka K. Marco, is a stepbrother to Mr. Xavier and got his power from Crimson Stone. Could be from wrong. And it's, it's the power of a Juggernaut like being and set into an avatar where he become the Juggernaut. You got a full plated armor where you become obviously the Juggernaut as Juggernaut himself. And a Goliath of the Juggernaut. That's a lot of Juggernauts. I'm just saying that he represents the avatar of original Juggernaut. That power is being coupled together into his power. And it has so much more potential. And is magical based. And he's not actually a mutant. That make that the case in the movies. But he's not actually a mutant. In the movies, it kind of makes sense for the era and time. But Juggernaut's not actually a mutant at all. But with this, Juggernaut... And his helmet cannot be affected by mind hacks. His powers cannot be instrumentally absorbed like others because it's magically based. So he's able to fight off someone like Rogue, take animantium cuts. He's able to fight the Hulk, able to fight Thor, tangle with Red Hulk. He can move at supersonic to very fast and light speeds. Even when he keeps going, he still is unstoppable. Basically, he can still be stopped depending on the person. There's been shows where he's able to be stopped. Or be toured around, like with Hulk, playing Hulk. And then in other cases, where he's overstepping and he falls. Or in general, someone just has a magnitude force to be able to back him back. It is his manly showcase with weapons like Stormbreaker, Mjolnir, and some mad some punches from Hulk or people like him. He has this very similar move to Thunderclap, where he's able to ricochet his claws but it's not actual like claws in a way. It's more of like how should I say this? Like 
It's a ricocheted of claws from his armor when he gets very tough. It's his new ability where he's able to fist it out. Not necessarily throw it, but if he gets in the way in between when he's running and fighting, he's going to be able to cut you and do things along that. I don't know if that was just a weird sound when I said fighting, but still. I just woke up, so I'm just going to make that clear if I sound weird or anything. Just woke up, so I'm going to give me a break on that. But the Juggernaut has a bunch of different core abilities. But as to that, Cordons. Cordons. That sounds right. Like, it's a cording of abilities. So, there's a lot more to keep going on, though. When it comes to him running, though, he's able to fold anybody that gets in his way, flatten them. Dudes are being stoppable. Each time, like I said before, only a few things can be able to stop him. I believe with a few hammer swings, maybe Shotgun could stop him. But at full speed, Shotgun's getting bodied, no cap, and Shotgun, the way he is and his attitude is we're taking these fighters to the real type of attitude and circumstance. He would probably try to stop him, but he's most likely going to get folded right then and there. But with that, the Juggernaut is able to be a support, not just in his mental force and a visible magical shield, but more of impressing inconsistency of his body being on the tape magnitudes of these blows and dish him out even with these things coming at him of a burst of kinetic energy. But it also isn't just a magnitude of that. His body is also on top of what I'm going to try to explore all of these at the same time. So... But the normal mic to kinetic energy is booted up with his armor. And with that being said, he's able to take a lot of these blows and be bulletproof even without the armor. And he still has all the types of strength and abilities even without it. He's been trying to better fight something like Colossus without his armor. He's able to take it off any time. When he doesn't have his armor, he's a little bit more weaker, but he's still the glide that we all know. He's still going to dish out the same magnitude of blows. And a bunch of these different types of scenarios, he'll still be devastating. But just with his armor and more than contact and blows, he builds up more kinetic energy to dish more out. Then when he's just running with his insubstantial skin, pretty much, he can keep going even to his skeleton. And one of the comics been shown, Juggernaut kept going full force, going rampant, and he was reduced to a skeleton and regrown. He has accelerated healing factor. It still kept going, flattening everybody in his way. He's has one of the best healing factors because magical badness, of core, eccentric type of value in mind. His healing factor comes from arguably a limitless implementation of source. And how he does stuff with his force magnitude of punches and how he's going to be doing things can already be limitless by increasing in custom source of power. And finally, with how it's all being accomplished in this normal renowned type of fighting. He kind of just uses more of a street fighting, MA type of fighting style, and it's all about brawling street fighting. But can push out some wrestling, and at the same time, is not dumb, but is just all over the place in what he does, and plays around, can be cocky, and it's something with a bunch of different type of blows and attitude of fighting. But at the same time, taking those blows don't necessarily fully stop him. But he has been defeated before. The Hulk, others, the different Avengers, has been defeated by the X-Men multiple times. And his armor has been able to be crushed by Magneto, correct me if I'm wrong. But it still can regrow back at its very high accelerated rate and be put together with more of a bloodlust type of film for a Juggernaut. But Juggernaut, even with his size, as I was showing before, is not actually slow. He actually is very fast. I said hyper faster than light and pretty much it for juggernaut altogether he has been kind of anti-hero before but it's more of a villain it's just all over the place it's like a terrorist sunder scenarios he gets mad almost over everything but in some cases does have some good heart to him but as a necessary the main case with him but that's it for juggernaut we're gonna get into how this fight we go so this fight is gonna be taking place in outworld in the outworld arena Shao Kahn, Dutch Koto Kahn, Dutch Katana Kahn, Bajadar and Kahn, so long this history. Shao Kahn is going to be fighting him, obviously. And so you're going to have home field event. It's not going to matter that much, but they will go away and start fighting. And during that, we'll go and bring off some banter of fighting. They'll start going head to head. And a lot of fights 
will be a little bit rampant and random. But I see Juggernaut catching up onto Shao Kahn, and Shao Kahn trying to give him the blows, hits, and trying to be as good as possible. But at the same time, with Juggernaut's sort of the healing factor and him just having a better case of durability, in my personal opinion, I would say Juggernaut is going to be mauling on Shao Kahn. But him using his little shove ability, he's going to be able to push him back a little bit, especially if he spams it. Now, Juggernaut might get tired of this, and this fight would go on for a pretty long time. But I see Juggernaut going full speed on the Shao Kahn, and Shao Kahn hitting him with a spear hammer, and he sees that it's not working. And so then he goes in to go do a shove. With this, Juggernaut flattens Shao Kahn, but doesn't necessarily kill him. I believe he can take one of those hits, and he keep fighting even more and more. Shao Kahn puts a dent in his armor, uppercuts him with the hammer, and explodes half his body right off. But then Juggernaut heals. He says, did that tickle me? But at the same time, Shao Kahn be like, okay, that didn't work. Oh, you said no. So you start using his laser eyes. So she vision, but it's not as essentially put as heat vision. It's more of like a spiritual type of thing of magic. So I would say in general, it's a exotic type of feel to heat vision, but it's just magic. So so you can call it heat vision. Shoots that, and the juggernaut says, Is that really supposed to tickle me? What are you going to do? Bring something. And I see Shao Kahn getting really tired of the fact that his stuff is not working. So then he starts being cocky, saying, You suck, juggernaut. And him start having very high friendly, but to very unneeded banter. Like, they just start roasting each other to an extent. And then juggernaut says he's going to fucking rip it in half. So then the fight keeps going on even more. And I see Shao Kahn trying to create a Solnado to grow on his power. Juggernaut doesn't allow him to do this. He starts beating the fuck out of him. And eventually, in your type of outcome, I can see both possibly winning. Shao Kahn is able to produce a right type of Solnado. I believe he will be able to take out Juggernaut. And soul manipulation does not work on Juggernaut, from what I know. I did the research. It is apparent that his body armor is able to disengage any type of spiritual, instrumental type of control, unless it involves the mind manipulation of magic. And Shao Kahn, for what I know, cannot do that. I'm not trying to downplay him. I just don't know if he can do that. I did the research. I ain't seen nothing like that. I know he can see souls and see minds, but that doesn't give an ability to react to whatever he's doing. And most of all, Shao Kahn would not do that in his normal type of attitude. He would still not really do that much in this scenario. So I believe at the end of the day, Juggernaut is going to fold Shao Kahn. The winner is Juggernaut. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, my man.